out to all the brothers. <laughs> She's on vacation. Amen. So we uh, thank the Lord today. Uh, so it's going to take a while to uh, do the fish, but I mean I got time today. <laughs> uh, I thank the Lord for uh, you all today for being in the house of prayer and we go into the Old Testament scripture, the book of Ecclesiastes. The book of Ecclesiastes. Thank you, Lord. Ecclesiastes chapter number 12. Ecclesiastes chapter number 12. And for you that's going to leave, I'm going to eat your portion of the fish. So, uh, you're more than welcome uh, if you're going to leave. Amen. Uh, hallelujah. Please ask is 12. And we'll look at verses uh, 13 and 14. Please ask is 13, 12, 13, and 14. Thirteen and fourteen. Are you there, Elatoni? Yes, sir. Hit that for me. Let us therefore let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep His commandments. Fear God and keep His commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. For this is the whole duty of man. For God shall bring every work into judgment. For God shall bring every work into judgment. With every secret thing. With every secret thing. Whether it be good. Whether it be good. Or whether it be evil. Or whether it be evil. Can we say amen? Amen. Uh, I want to use for just one word today. Look at somebody say duty. 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 You may be seated. <laughs> duty, not duty. <laughs> Duty. 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 Um, I don't know about you today, but uh, I'm excited to be a man. Man, Come on, Pastor. Should have got some help on that one. Amen. I said I'm excited. To be a man. Amen. Amen. I don't know about you, but I am glad what God made me. And not only that, if you're a man, whether you want to accept this or not, that you are the head. Amen. Amen. I'll say it again. You are the head. Yes. Amen. If it has nothing to do with, with you, God made you the head. Amen. I'll say it again. God made you the head. And just because you're the head is not dictatorship. Uh, headship is also led by leadership. So uh, when God made you the head, he made you to be a leader. Uh, he made you to be an example. I just want to talk about a few things. Duty. Now, notice he said, let's hear the conclusion of the whole matter, the whole story. Um, that God is going to bring everything into judgment. Let me help you out real fast. You ain't got to worry about what somebody's doing. Nobody's going to get away with anything. Amen. Amen. Make nobody's getting away with anything. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But I want to talk about duty because... God has given us as men a duty. Amen. We, we, have, a, we have a job uh, to do. Uh, some things God has left in the man control. And it is our duty to function uh, the way that God has designed us to function. Uh, one thing that we must understand is that God has made it very clear in his word that he is asking us as men uh, is to obey uh, his word. Uh, uh, not only to obey it, uh, but to be faithful uh, to his word. That's not an option. 
Uh, that's something that we must strive uh, to do as men. Not only that, he told us as men uh, is to love our wives. Amen. Get no help right there either. Amen. Yes. To love our wives as Christ loved the church. Amen. So what did he do for the church? He died for the church. Uh, it is our duty as men it is to love our kids. Amen. I ain't going to get no help there either. Amen. <laughs> uh, it's our duty to love our kids. Um, it, is, it, is, it is our duty as men is to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Ain't gonna get no help there either. I say it's our duty is to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Amen. It is our duty, amen, to acknowledge that we need God in our lives. Amen. Ain't gonna get no help there either. Uh, it is our duty as men that when we mess up to repent and confess and get right with God. Amen. Ain't gonna get no help there either. Uh, so we have a duty, Amen. not duty, uh -huh. a duty uh -huh. is something that is required of us as men to do. Now, let me say, we're not perfect. Mm -hmm. There's no human being perfect but Jesus Christ. Amen. But it's our duty to work to perfection. Amen. It is our duty to strive to be what God designed us to be. It is our duty to learn how to discipline ourselves. I ain't going to get no help there either. I'll say it's our duty to learn how to discipline ourselves. Yes. A real man of God does not do any in everything. Amen. There are some areas, uh, you that, that's not married yet as single women, I'm going to give you some pointers today uh, to help you point out and spot a real man. A real man... His duty is that he does not run from responsibility. Amen. Amen. Ah, sippy, sippy now. <laughs> I said again, he does not run nope. from responsibility. Amen. Uh, that's what a real, he takes care of his business. Uh, a real man does not put his pleasure before his family. I ain't going to get no help right there. I said he does not put his pleasure before his family. Amen. Uh, Amen. Everything that when you become a real man in God, your responsibility is to the family. Amen. Amen. Your stuff as a man, you ain't going to hear what hit us today, but it goes on the back burner. Amen. Uh, it's your responsibility, amen, to make sure. I know it's hard. Don't, 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 don't get mad at me today. I don't want to spoil your fish fry, but, 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 but don't get mad. It, 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 it's a duty. It's something you got to work on. It's something you got to do. Uh, women, uh, just put this in the, in, in the side of your notebook in your Bible. When you find a man that don't want responsibility, read my lips. Run from him. All right. All right. All right. Uh, because... If, if he's not responsible now, he's not going to be responsible when you get with him. Amen. Uh, uh, it, it is a man's duty is to make and have a commitment. Amen. If you find a man that's running from his duty of commitment, put this in your punchline in your Bible, run from him. Amen. Commitment. If you find a man that can't be with one woman, run from him. Amen. That's not a real man. That's a hoe. Amen. I ain't going to get that right here. Amen. It's commitment, responsibility. Uh, not only that, that it's your duty is to be loyal. Amen. Is to be loyal. Your job is to be loyal to your family. Your duty is to be loyal to your wife. Your duty is to be loyal to your kids. Why? Because you have a responsibility. Amen. <laughs> It amazes me about men today in this country we live in is that, that and you may be here today, I don't know, I don't know, I'm just talking. Uh, it amazes me how that people hook up and then they mess around and can't stand one another. Mm. And my question is, if you don't mind, my question is today is, I wonder when you was bumping and grinding, was you saying that? Uh, I ain't gonna get no help today. Uh, was, was, was you was you was you was you telling her uh, I can't stand you? No, you weren't. You weren't doing that. Uh, I ain't gonna get no help in here today on that one, on that one, on that one. Uh, but 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 I'm talking about loyalty. 
Amen. Are you are you are you a person that can be loyal? Every woman wants a man that's loyal. Amen. Amen. Uh, the women I'll say amen. I'm trying to help you out. I'm just talking about I'm just talking about duty. I'm talking about duty. It's your it's your duty. It's your duty. Uh, every woman wants a man that's going to listen to them. Amen. Amen. Oh, I ain't going to get no help right there either. I said every woman wants a man that's going to listen to them. They know you can't solve the problem, but at least they want you to listen. I'm talking real good. I'm talking real good. I'm talking, so you're talking about duty. Because he said the whole duty of man is to uh, fear God. Amen. Uh, the whole conclusion of the, of the matter. Amen. You might only hear this today, but if your home not happy, you got something to do with it. If you if you married today or with anybody, if your home not happy, it's your fault. Amen. Well, amen. Y'all, I ain't gonna you can't even get amen. I'm not amen. Amen. Yeah. Oh Lord, help us, Jesus, help us, Jesus. I'm just talking about duty. Yes. Amen. It is it is it is your duty to support. Amen. I say it is your duty to support. You, to be a support system to what your companion is doing or trying to do. That is your job as a man to be supportive. That's your duty to be supportive of your sin. I ain't going to get her head. Amen. What is she trying to accomplish? It is your duty as a man to support her. You may not have the money, but can you support it? Amen. Amen. I'm talking about duty. Uh, it, 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 it is your duty to, amen, and I'm working on this because I can talk, I'm talking, I, I, it is your duty to learn how to communicate. Amen. amen. I said it, it's, it's your duty is to learn how to communicate. Amen. Most things that fall apart in a relationship is a couple things. It's, it's either money, sex, or communication. Yeah. One of them three all the time destroys anybody that should. So you have to sometimes learn how to communicate. Amen. And most men have a problem with communication. Amen. The average man, oh yeah, I ain't gonna get no help here. It's quiet in here today, boy. The average man don't want to communicate with a woman and tell her where he's going and where he done been. I'm grown. I tell my wife where I'm going, where I done been, and who I've been with. Amen. That's a real man. If you ain't got nothing to hide, you can be real.
A requirement. It ain't just ain't an option. That's right. So when you find a person that that's, that's running from all this, you 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 look at a disaster. If, if, if you find a man you mentioned job and he passed out, that ain't the one. <laughs> Somebody that's gonna help you, not hinder you. That's you need right. you need somebody that's gonna support you, that's gonna celebrate you, that's gonna edify you and lift you up. Not nobody that's always something and taking from you. You can be told by yourself. You don't need your help to be told. I'm talking, I'm just talking about duty. That's real. Let's see the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God. Keep his commandments. Just do it. So when you find a man that don't fear God, you need to run from that book. Because if he don't fear God, he'll do any and everything. But if you find a man that fears God, you might have something. To, that means the fear that reverence God, that honors God, that, that worships God, that adore God, you 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 got some. But if you find a man that loves sports more than he loves God, you got a problem because he's gonna stay at home on Sunday. See, I love sports just like the next person, but sports don't come in my way of church. I don't get the Super Bowl on. If the Super Bowl come on with church time, I'm here at church. But but if you find these guys, they're not real men, but they have put sports above their mouth. Didn't get no help right there either, did I? Yes, indeed. This duty. This duty. When you find a man won't change the light bulb, <laughs> he don't walk by the light bulb a hundred times. Right there, that's a problem. <laughs> you find a man, the grass ain't got that tall, he ain't cut it yet. <laughs> Baby, can you cut the grass? <laughs> that's all about duty. All right? This ain't no, this ain't no hard. This is just duty. See, cause, cause after all the fun stuff, folks, you gotta live. That's right. Amen. 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 For real. Most the average man is scared of the word commitment. Amen. My Lord. They'll commit to everything else, but they won't commit to a woman. Amen. So mm. bad. They'll commit to everything, but when it comes committed to a woman, they won't make a commitment. And when you find a man that won't make a commitment, read my lips. Leave him. Yep. Amen. No good. Because you got a problem out of it. Yes, indeed. Amen. Bravo. Your duty. Amen. Fear God. Amen. And when you find a man that fear God, he's going to do right by you. Amen. Yes, yes, amen. Even though sometimes it may hurt. He still, sometimes it hurts, sometimes it hurts, but because I'm, I'm committed to the relationship, I'll go on and do it. Sometimes my wife will squeal like a pig, and I'll see the squeal, the squeal, and I'll say, here, take it, Marguerite, go! <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because it's my duty to a certain degree to satisfy and to please my woman. Right. Ain't no other man got no business pleasing my woman. That's my job. Amen. See, to make her happy. Amen. That's why if you know your Bible, he tells you Corinthians that when a man get married, his desires become the desires of his wife. Yes. To please her. Ain't no sense you come to church jumping and shouting home ain't happy. I said, ain't no sense you come to church jumping and shouting at home ain't happy. Well, mm -hmm. 
You got a job to do. You got a responsibility. It's work to do. It's a job being a man. It's a great responsibility. Anybody can put on a pair of britches. But it's a responsibility being a man. And I ain't talking about a man that got his wrist broke. I ain't talking about no down low brother. I'm talking about a real man that's been born of God. I ain't talking about no bisexual man. I'm talking about a real man. Amen. A man that was made for a woman and a woman for a man. Amen. All this other crap, I don't know nothing about. Amen. But when you become a real man of God, you're going to do what it takes to please God. Uh -huh. You're going to try to operate in that perimeter that God can be pleased with your life Amen. as a man. Amen. Amen. Because your ultimate goal is to please the Lord. So when you get reverence for God and begin to fear God, you want to do what it takes to, to make God, amen, pleased with your life. Amen. And that woman is a great responsibility of that. Because God, if you know your Bible, God had designed the church as a family. Amen. Okay? And that's why people run from commitment. If you, if you say marriage, they'll run like party going naughty. <laughs> They, they, I'm talking real good. I'm talking duty. They want to do the, they want to do the flirtation and 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 how you doing? And we can kick it and go out and eat and have dinner and you know. Uh, but when it comes to that word commitment, if you say ring, you mention the word M marriage, right? Then they get the hiccups and start falling out and sweating and stuff. <laughs> All of a sudden, they was calling, hey, girl, what's up, boo? Yeah. Oh, I'm doing all right today. Everything good? Yeah. Okay, I'll be over a little bit. Okay. You get over there, well, hey, boo, what about marriage? Girl, what are you talking about? I ain't, 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 Because it don't take no six years, seven years to find out is this the one. I met my wife on a Friday night at church, looking out the pulpit, and I said, that's the one right there. And I pursued her and married. And been with her up to this point. <laughs>
relationship is work. Yes. You have a duty, an obligation, Amen. responsibility. Don't fool yourself. Amen. It's work. It's a job. That's why you see people, especially me, and they run. If you want to get rid of a brother, just mention marriage. <laughs> I promise you, if he, he'll run. Every time you see him, are oh, we going to do this? He will, I promise you, he ain't going to call you no more. He will act like he don't even know you. <laughs> Especially when you done made your mind up, we ain't doing this no more. It's wrong. It's not right in the eyesight of God. It's yeah. over. It's done. The next time you hit this, you got to be married to me. Y'all right. uh -huh. ain't saying nothing. Y'all yeah. yeah. act like ain't nothing happening. It's happening in the church. Don't fool yourself. But somebody got to get out and get That's serious true. about it. That's right. Amen. 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 That's real. That's that is all true. Amen. Drinking all the cow milk and ain't paying for the cow. <laughs> you got to get real with this thing. You got to get. You got to get. You got to get real with this thing. You got to get honest with this thing. We ain't playing house no more. We ain't playing like we together. We gonna do it the Bible way. A man shall leave his father and mother and cleave unto his wife, and they shall become one flesh. That's right. Me and my wife, we're not twain. We're one now. That's what But most people, they, they, that, that word, they, they don't want that commitment. Mm -hmm. They want everything else, but they don't want commitment. commitment. Mm. The average man run when problems come. Mm. Yeah. But what amazes me, when all other stuff going on, they there. Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby, yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. When all that's over with, it's just, they gone. You ought to get tired of makeup sex. <laughs> Hit a hard one right there, didn't I? Yeah. I'm just talking about duty. <laughs> duty. <laughs> Committed to this. I'm in it for the long haul. I'm not throwing the towel in because it's easy to go get a divorce. It don't take no brain to get a divorce. Just sign on the dotted line. You can take your brain out and roll it down Grand Avenue and still sign on the dollar line. Because <laughs> don't take no brain. But it takes loyalty. It takes dedication. It takes endurance. It takes going through. It takes taking something. It takes getting cussed out. It takes, it takes all that to stay committed. An average man don't want it and he don't want no pressure. So his way out is to run. Anybody can play, but it takes somebody real to stay in. And I'm talking from experience. So if you're looking for either one, are you thinking about getting married to one? Bring it, let me investigate him for you. I'll tell you he's the one. <laughs> Bring him here, let me, let me check him out. <laughs> let, let me check him out. I'll tell you one. I asked him certain questions. Sweet of that dog won't hunt. <laughs> <laughs> but I can train him. I can No, you can't. You can't train this dog. He's not trainable material. <laughs> No, honey, pass that love up on that one. Man, that's right. mm -mm, don't mess with it. <laughs> but some people, you just can't tell. They just Man. don't go and do it. Then, then they get in a the mess. Then they want to go pass it up. Pass it. If you would listen to me up front. I'm a man. I can tell you a real man, baby. I done, been, I done done the fizzle. I done done all that. I done been out there. I can tell you a real man. <laughs> Honey, that right there ain't gonna bust a great with golf shoes on. <laughs> don't, don't, don't mess with that one. No, leave that one alone. Look at his hands. He ain't got no marks on his hands. He get more, more, more manicures than you get. Uh, 
don't mess, don't mess with that. But some people they they they, they, they think they think they they, they just it. they think they think oh it's gonna work out. No, it ain't gonna work out. There's certain flags, there's certain signs that you see, but some people think they avoid it. Yeah. They like all I see is how good he looks. Oh girl, woo, Jerome. Girl, Jerome, oh my God, I'm like, woo. Girl, when I think about Jerome, my spine just tingles. Woo! <laughs> but after you get Jerome, your spine quit tingling and stop working. <laughs> <laughs> say, what have I got myself into? Say that, Pastor. Oh, my but all the signs were there all the time. You love the Lord? And you say, I ain't going to church. Church ain't for me. I ain't got time to go to church. What are you talking about? Tithes? Get at church my money? I ain't in the time. Right there. It's showing, it's showing your problem. How can two walk together? You, 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 you give the church money yeah. and this and that. This, that's your life now. That's what you do. Yeah. And you hook up this book and that ain't like him. There's a problem right there. Yeah. See? But some people do it. They think it ain't going to work out. Because somebody just say duty. I'm just talking about duty. 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 It's a great responsibility. responsibility. That's why the Bible tells us that 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 don't go into this unwisely. See, because it's, it's more than just signing on a dollar line. It's, it's more than saying, I do. It's a great work to come with this life. If you ain't on the same